Hi everybody! Today we want to connect from a remote desktop connection from Windows 10 to server and in this case our server is 2016 so what we can do right now is to write here in the remote desktop connection you can find the remote desktop connection by looking at the search here remote sorry remote desktop connection you can open it and write the name of the server or the IP address of the server here so let's see how can we find the, the name or the IP address of the server you go into the system so here is the computer name and here is the, the domain so in this case the server's name is SAAD and how we can find the IP address we open the command prompt and we write here ipconfig and this is the IP address of the server so here we write the name of the server and we connect and this is the user and type password so look at the error it is written the connection was denied because the user account is not authorized for remote login so first of all we try to ping each other so, we want to find if they are pingable so look it is pingable and let's find the IP address of address of the windows so let's ping the windows it is pingable too so the connection has got no problem right now we go into the windows server we go to the active directory and we try to make to find the user the user is here, just one. Look, this is just one the user. And in the group section, we make a new group and we call it remote the desktop connection full access. So this created, we go into the user, properties, the member of, and we add the mode desktop connection here. So the user is member of this group. And what we can do is go into the built-in and we go to the remote desktop user it is automatically installed or automatically created when we install the server we go into the member of and here we add the remote desktop group desktop connection and one another thing that we should take into our consideration is we can go is to go to the control panel we go to the system and we go to the setup we go to the remote and this section we should click this one and activate this one it means to to allow a remote connection to this computer so make okay Sometimes it is there, up, and sometimes it is here. 
so it is all done right now and we try it once more if we have a problem or not I type the password look everything everything is done we have a success, successful connection to the server and it is all thank you for the listening